Welcome back to TLT Talks. I'm sitting here today with one of my best friends and one of the top agents on our team, Mr. Jeffrey Pantone. How goes it, buddy? Hey, it's going well with yourself, bud. Yeah, pretty good. Cool. Let's do this. <laughs> so lately, as the market really feels like it's picking up, we find ourselves in multiple co-op transactions. And the question that keeps coming up, how do I pass this board interview? So we thought we would break down the process a bit of what the board interview process is. So Jeff, talk to me about this interview. What is this board interview? Uh, well, first thing to understand is co-op and condos, they each have their own boards, but they're very different things. A condo can't say, can't reject you for no reason. They have just what's called the right of first refusal. Right. And if someone on the board wants to buy the apartment for themselves, they can then enact that. A co-op is a different story. Right. You actually, entirely. Entirely. <laughs> you actually sit down for an interview as though it's a job interview, and you have a conversation. Right, and if you got to that point, it's good news. That's it's great news. It's that, good news. It means like, the board already reviewed your financials. Right. You kind of right. pass on paperwork, right. and now they just want some clarity. And exactly, it's almost like the board package is the first interview, and then now you're being called for a second interview. Yeah. Right, so exactly a, lot, a lot of what I experienced is the buyer's like, "Oh man, this interview," but no, it's actually good news. That means you're on your way. Yeah, that's right? great. Um, and so the live back team is all about identifying and accomplishing outcomes. We break everything into outcomes. So when thinking about it in that context, the co-op board, what is the actual outcome of the interview for them? What are they looking to accomplish? That's a great question. So basically, a, a co-op interview is an interview. So they want to, one, clear up any questions they may have that you submitted within your package. It might be a small financial thing. Um, and then two, which is huge, they want to understand the kind of person that you are, who their neighbor is going to be. Remember, these right. people live in the building. Right. Exactly, and this is contrary to what people might believe. They're not getting paid for this. Yeah. These are sort of good Samaritans that want to make sure the building's being handled well, etc. So they're sort of elected by the building, by the residents, to make sure that you know they're going to protect who it is that's living in the building, and mm -hmm. uh, etc. So very cool. So then the final question, I guess, is for your clients that are asking you how to pass the board. What are some of the tips? How can they prepare? What should they do? What should they not do? What's best prep for a board interview? Yeah, uh, another great question, and I obviously get this all the time, is one, once again, this is an interview. You wanna come off starting off with a great impression. Dress professionally, speak politely, be friendly, be nice, and there's another huge aspect that people overlook is things that you don't say. <laughs> so one, be friendly, but don't be overly friendly. You don't want this person to think, oh, I'm gonna run to this guy in the hallway and he's gonna talk to me 30 minutes every <laughs> time I see him. Um, but another huge thing is be very careful of what you do say. Mm -hmm. If you're planning to do a gut renovation of your apartment that's gonna take a year, that board president might live next door to you. Right. They might live downstairs to you. So you, right. you'll you be very careful with what you wanna say. Right, exactly. And one, one thing that I always advise our clients of this is the board interview is not the time to ask questions. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Get in, get out, answer the questions, be nice, be pleasant. Whatever questions you may have, that's for your attorney, for your mortgage broker, for your real estate broker. Once you moved in, you can ask all the questions you <laughs> want in the world. But at this moment, your outcome is to pass the interview. Yeah. So, very, well very cool. Well, Jeff, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, of course. Anytime. You guys hope that was helpful. Have a good one. See you next time.